Hi folks, today we're going to take a look at Central Tyrant Investigations, where he gets arrested for interfering on an active crime scene. But before we start today's video, as always, a big thank you to all of my current and new channel members and subscribers. Without your guys' continuous ongoing support, we couldn't keep this channel going, so I thank you all personally from the bottom of my heart. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the page, leave a like and a comment because it helps me with the algorithm. Don't forget to check out my second channel, NCR Movie Network, and the podcast Shit Town Florida Man Power Ranking, episode 9, is out right now. With all that being said, let's enjoy today's video. All right. What's going on, guys? What's up, Jenny? Thank you for uh, stopping on by. Uh, yeah, so uh, I was driving, and I see a whole bunch of fire uh, and police vehicles booking it down the road. So uh, I turned around, and uh, looks like there is a uh, shooting, a uh, double shooting here. Uh, they did rush the uh, people off uh, to the hospital. That's the uh, sirens you hear right now. So he's got the, uh, yeah, the one guy, He they were doing chest compressions, but he wasn't moving at all, guys. So he got shot, so not looking good there. Uh, so they are doing their crime scene investigation. They have the... Uh, body replica thing that they lay out on the ground now i know this does seem hypocritical of me for calling him out for filming this crime scene but i'm not doing this for the same reasons he's doing it see i'm doing this to hold him accountable to expose the frauders for the depravity and the lack of morals they have somebody possibly could have lost their life here and he decides to go live for what clicks and views and some super chats and gifted memberships. This is not something that should be broadcast on YouTube. This is something that should be held more private. This is, this is a tragedy that happened here. A person may have lost their life, and this jack wagon decides to go live for what? Where the shooting happened, so... Yeah, thank you, Karen. I appreciate you. Um, there's a lot of people around. It's, it's a hectic scene, really. Oh, wow. I see uh, about three or four officers from uh, my past video, including this guy right here, this sergeant from the state office building, the uneducated sergeant, and also the uh, lieutenant is right behind the car there. Sorry. And he's right behind the car there. Uh, so yeah, there's some shit that happened. I'm about to walk down the other street and and see if I can get down there. So let's uh, actually do that right now. There's a whole bunch of commotion going on out front there. I think I can cut through right here. Let's cut through. <laughs> I don't recommend this, but I hear a whole bunch of screaming and yelling going on up here. Well, if you don't recommend doing it, why are you doing it? You took a little chuckle saying that you're going to sneak around and cut through that alleyway to get a better look at the crime scene. And you don't want people to do this kind of thing? You're milking this tragedy for, for what purpose? This is disgusting. This could be family members or friends of one of the victims, and you take this as an opportunity to what? Bash cops? To try to get likes and views? Get super chats? This is disgusting. This is something that is a serious incident, and you're making light of it.
Oh, shit. Ain't no motherfucking way. We just walked the right, that's what I'm saying. Y'all looking for the wrong person. He just got up out the damn court. That's how I know he ain't getting shit. Yeah, what's up guys? Sorry about that. I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to see what's all going on. It looked like they were roughing up one of the uh, guys here, so. Well, it's kind of hard to tell from your angle that you're at but it did look like the officers did have to use some force to restrain and detain an individual they believe is a suspect or possibly someone involved in this shooting but yet you're trying to make this seem like they're violating this guy's rights you don't know what's going on you're trying to interject yourself into something that you don't need to be a part of i'm recording that <laughs> This lady from the window told me not to put her in, in the camera. Like, I wasn't even facing the camera towards her. Hey, don't talk. Don't talk. Don't talk. I'm good here. Back up, you're gonna get arrested. Back up 10 feet, you're gonna get arrested. Sir, you know Back there's up. no law against Yes, there is. Back up. Dude, I'm telling I know you last what I'm time. Doing. Back up. Are you sure about that? Because you could be facing a criminal charge of obstructing government operations according to Missouri Law 576.030. A person commits the offense of obstructing government operations if he or she purposely obstructs, impairs, hinders, or perverts the performance of any government function by the use of or threat of violence, force, or other physical interference or obstacle. By you interjecting and trying to get closer to the crime scene, you could be facing an obstruction charge or possibly interference. But more than likely, it would be the obstruction charge. Here, someone arrest him for interfering. How am I interfering? Okay. Staying on the you, public I told you to back up 10 feet and you didn't do it. There's no law against yes, that. Yes, there is. It's called interfering. Interference, I'm on. I told you to back up and you didn't back up. Ha! Got Got him! Got him! Yes, yeah, technically there is no law stopping him from filming. However, with him constantly getting closer to the crime scene, that would be obstructing or interfering because he could inadvertently tamper or damage evidence that could lead to the conviction of the actual perpetrators. Now, let's jump ahead to see what happened after he was arrested. Yeah, I know. Shit. Yeah, they messed up all my stuff, man. All right. All right, my man. Yep, my yep. I'm going to get my car. Yep, thank you. Oh, my. Dang, messed my whole rig up. Oh, but baby. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Jenny, uh, 
I am hurting. I got stuff to tell you guys. Um, they uh, put the cuffs on too tight, way too tight. And then uh, I, I told them back in the uh, thing, I don't know how much you guys saw of that or how much you heard. Uh, one second. Oh, all right. So that officer does want my, uh, the, the captain who let me out. Yeah, it was a black captain. She was cool. Everybody else, they're getting a lawsuit. This is definitely a lawsuit. It well, it wouldn't be a fraud or a video if he wasn't going to threaten to make complaints or file lawsuits. But what's your lawsuit going to be for? An unlawful arrest because you were interfering on an active crime scene? Hmm. I don't know many lawyers who would want to try to run that case because there's a strong possibility you would lose it. I mean, you did constantly keep getting closer and closer to the crime scene. You were interjecting yourself in matters that did not uh, affect you in any way. If, if, ain't nothing to scream in lawsuit but this one. Yeah, it was St. Louis Metro uh, Police Department. I hope you, did you guys see all of that? I don't know how much you guys saw, but, uh, wow. Uh, Rutgers Street, are you talking about like where I'm at now? Let me drive, I gotta drive over to them. Cause I did tell her I'd give her one of my cards. Uh. Uh, yeah, I don't know where we're at, what street we're on right now. I'm about to turn down one right now. But I'm on Jefferson right now. Uh, let's see. Rutger? Yeah, Rutger Street. You're right, yep. So I gotta turn down this road right here. Uh, where you got arrested? Yeah, yep. Yep, Rutger Street. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to get over to this place. Yeah, so guys, so the officer, I told him my handcuffs were way too tight. Uh, and I told him that I couldn't breathe in the van because it was hot, it was super hot in there. No, I was I was arrested, not detained. Um, you can see my, my wrists are all messed up. Uh, so he had my Apple Watch pressed up against the handcuff so it basically took away my circulation uh, i told him to readjust it and he wasn't wanting to readjust it at all so i pretty much had to beg him to readjust it and then on top of that i asked for air conditioning he then rolled up the windows dramatization may not have happened and we're going to end it here folks he does say that he was going to do a video or a live stream telling us all about the injustice that happened to him and how they mistreated and tortured him. But that video and live stream cannot be found at this time. So if you guys like this video, please like, share, subscribe. Leave a thumbs up and a comment because it helps me with the algorithm. Don't forget to check out my second channel and the podcast. With all this being said, be well, be safe, and I'll see you guys next time. And a special thank you to all members of the news team. Without your guys' continuous ongoing support, I couldn't get the channel going. So I want to thank you all personally from the bottom of my heart.